in New Jersey, a double shooting involving a Bronx rapper. Police responding to two scenes about half a mile from each other in Edgewater. Edgewater is a super mixy place. It's a place where a lot of like working professionals or people that get money in New York come to live, okay? For example, all the star tenders, the bartenders, all the strippers who claim they get money and they drive a C-Class, they all run to Edgewater. Why? It's in Jersey, you pay less, it's, you have a waterfront view, it's the Hudson River, and you can see Manhattan, okay? Brilliant view, okay? Now, uh, I say that to say it's a place that if you live or if you're around a lot, you're going to run into other people, okay? And usually other people in the industry. I can tell you guys, I live in Jersey. I was thinking about moving to Edgewater one time, and then I seen Fabio Ford made, made a video in front of the building I was thinking about moving into. I said, I'm good, okay? CBS 2's Kevin Rincon, live now with the latest on the investigation. Kevin. And Maurice and Christine, it was here at this busy shopping plaza. We're a little after midnight along River Road. Police say they had a report of a man getting shot, a young man. We have since learned that that person is rapper Lil TJ. I know it was in New Jersey, as a matter of fact. Because when they said that it happened after 12 o'clock midnight, oh, my mind just start flashing and start going crazy in trouble. You know what I'm saying? He got killed after midnight. Um, a couple years ago, Pop Smoke got killed after midnight. TJ, no, he not dead, but Bro got hit after midnight. Police also tell us about a half a mile down the road, they found another victim at a gas station. Rapper Lil TJ is a well-known artist. He has millions of followers on social media and is signed to Columbia Records. He's from the Bronx, but is known to spend time here in Edgewater, especially at the Promenade. And when I seen him in the place, I didn't really think nothing of it. Here, he's been able to fly under the radar. But early Wednesday morning, the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office and Edgewater Police responded to a shooting outside of Chipotle. He was outside like a regular person. I was like, it, he wasn't flashy enough, and he had a black hoodie on, jeans, some white ups. Put it like this, as a rapper, you got fans, right? You do got fans. The cool thing about a rapper is a fan know what rapper he want to hate on, but a rapper don't know his haters, you know what I'm saying? They come up in disguise, they can want a picture from you, they can want whatever the fuck from you, bro. You gotta take it, because if not, what if it is a genuine fan? Now you all on social media, they're like, oh, this nigga fucked up, you know what I'm saying? TJ was rushed to the hospital. Fellow performer Bugsy Lick says he has since come out of surgery and has a long recovery ahead. Last night, I'm going to keep it 100. Nine and a half times out of 10, the nigga that shot little TJ didn't even know, bro. But then when they said it happened at his Chipotle, I'm like, what the fuck is TJ doing outside? He says what happened here is exactly what little TJ was hoping to avoid. All of the celebrity rappers and stuff try to have a safe haven, a mutual ground where we can just kind of eat with our families, chill, relax, and just have peace of mind. He says the two of them usually talk music, but intends to remind him of the dangers associated with fame. It happened at Chipotle. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Like, I used to fuck with a bitch that worked at Chipotle. I'd be there at 9.50 because they closed at 10 on the, um, on the night shift. Why is bro outside after 12 midnight? They ain't like, oh, happening to different locations. In other professions where you have like these multi-millionaires and stuff, they'll walk around a lot of times by themselves and you won't even know who it is. It's only like in the rap industry to where you're wearing your jewelry, you're wearing your diamonds. We've got to do something different so that the violence decreases instead of always having these tragic stories from a prolific artist like Lil TJ. Meanwhile, half a mile down the road at an Exxon gas station, police found another gunshot victim who was loaded onto the back of this ambulance and also taken to the hospital. Hospital. So what the TJ boys that chased old boy down after they shot him and they tried to get off or did the nigga shoot TJ they was trying to get away and they followed TJ all the way to the other gas station or wherever the fuck it was bro and tried to light him up then. I'm gonna tell you this about a rapper bro. You gonna always hear them say, I'm gonna move like the president. Rappers just getting killed out here. I gotta, like, look, I gotta move safe. Woo -woo -woo. But I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. The president only pop up at places of his business. You know what I'm saying? As of now, no word of any arrest. And we are told from investigators that this was not a random attack. Instead, it was targeted.